Hello, welcome to another session on comparing quantities. We are done with calculating the amount and finding out the interest when uh, interest is compounded annually, semi-annually and quarterly. Now we take up questions wherein we are asked to find either the principal or the rate. The first one I'm doing is finding out the principal when amount, compound interest, rate, number of years, everything is given. My first question here I'll put it. Find the principal if the compound interest and keeping it as short compounded annually at the rate of 10 percent per annum for three years is rupees 331 We have to find, let's first make out what do we have to find. We have to find principal. The compound interest is given to be 331. No, it's uh, find the principal if the compound interest compounded annually at the rate of 10% per annum. At a rate of through this is for 3 years, 331. So our amount to uh, interest is 331. Rate is given to be 10%. Time is given for 3 years. So there's no... Uh, no complications as this is compounded annually to go for this question let as because we have to find principal you can take let the principal be 100 sorry might come across solutions wherein they are taken as x let the principal be the rupees 100 so what it becomes after three years what will be the amount then it is simply 100 into 1 plus 10 by 100 to the power 3 if we solve this it becomes 100 11 by 10 to the power 3 this I calculated and that's giving me oh did I make any mistake yeah it is 10 by 100 so it is 11 by 10 yeah it's correct so I'm getting this as rupees 133 .10. 133.10 133.10 now in this scene, what becomes the compound interest as because we calculated the amount to be 133.10 and had assumed our principal to be 100, we got 33.10. Now look, I mean we'll try to put if this interest is 331, what becomes the principal? That means in case where the compound interest is rupees 33.10 the principal is rupees 100 so if the compound interest is given to be it's given as rupees 331 the principal will be i'll now do it here so it becomes 331 into 100 divided by 33.10 
if you do so I'm getting this as thousand so the principle which we are supposed to calculate is thousand on which you are getting an interest of 331 at a rate of 10 percent per annum for three years this is one way of doing it one another let us move on to um, a different question this was when it was compounded annually i'm now taking up a similar question with compounded half yearly what sum will become rupees 9826 in 18 months if the rate of interest is 2 whole 1 by 2 percent per annum and the interest is compounded half yearly see the method would remain see herein you don't have to take because the amount is already given to us so we'll just substitute all of the information in our formula a is equal to p1 plus r by 100 to the power n amount is given to us as 9826 principal is our question so let it be as p plus 1 plus r by 100 so it is 5 by 2 5 by 2 by 100 right I mean 5 by 2 is compounded half yearly so the rate becomes 1 by 5 by 4 by 100 right so I am doing this uh, you know rough here so that you can understand and I put the the whole thing into the formula so 5 by 2 is per uh, is the rate per annum uh, but it is compounded same half yearly so I made it half multiplied because divided by 2 is equal to multiplied by half and then you have a percentage by 100 so that makes it 5 by 400 now it is in uh, 18 months so how many uh, six months are or how many half years are being there in 18 months so it is three half years See, or else you can always understand that, you know, N is 2. So, 18 months, first convert it into number of years. Or you can directly divide it by 6. That will give me 3 by 2. So, in 18 months, you have 3 by 2 years. And it becomes, of course, compounded and uh, semi-annually. So, it's multiplied by 2 that gives me three so there are two ways of understanding either you can think like how many times the interest is being paid in 18 months or you can convert that in number of years and multiply it by the times it is being um, the interest has been given in in that particular area so i'm getting this if i reduce i'm getting it as 80 so it is 80 p 81 by 80 whole q so p becomes 9826 divided by this that means multiplied by the reciprocate this if you solve this you will be getting rupees 9 sorry Four six six point five four. This is the principle which the amount became nine eight two six. In the next screen we will be taking up. Now we we just calculated finding out the principle. Herein I'm taking up a question where to find out n. That's a period of investment. I write a question here. In what time will rupees 800 amount to rupees 
8.82 at a rate of 5 percent per annum compounded annually. This is one of the simplest one I am taking. Next we will also take up questions when it is given compounded half yearly. We learned principal calculation. This is time calculation. We will also be learning rate calculation. Okay. I just write down um, this part here. We will substitute uh, whatever I am not writing it in detail and we will be directly substituting in this formula. Amount is given to be 8, 8, 2. Principal is informed as 800. 1 plus, there is no complication or understanding as the rate is directly compounded annually and N will be a question. So, 882 by 800, I'm bringing this down and this is, if I reduce, it becomes 20. So, 21 by 20 by 20 to the power N. We can reduce this becomes 441 and this becomes 400. So it is 441 by 400 is equal to 21 upon 20 to the power n. I'll just proceed it here. 441 is actually 21 by 20. I mean 21 is whole square and 400 is 20 square. This is equal to 21 upon 20 to the power n. See the bases are equal. You can equate the power. So n is equal to 2. So in 2 years, 800 becomes 882 at a rate of 5% per annum compounded annually. So the next question which I write up will be for you to solve. In what time will rupees sixty-four thousand sorry amount to rupees six eight nine two one at a rate of five percent per annum interest oh sorry interest being compounded half yearly oh, yeah I'll just help you, you know record the formula see so 68921 is the amount 64000 is your principal plus now what will be the rate Rate is 5% per annum if it is compounded half yearly that becomes 5 by 2, right? I am not getting it in decimal. Let it be as 5 by 2 by 100 that that makes it 5 by 200 to the power n can actually be written as 2n because this, uh, from, uh, sorry, this interest is given twice in a year. So, it becomes 68921 by 64,000 and this I think will be 41 upon 40 to the power 2n. Now you can proceed as we did in the previous question. Try to you know reduce this or find out um, 68921. There will be always a relation between I mean this by 64,000. It must be square uh, no anything power to 41 upon 40. Equate that to 2n and you can find n. I give you the answer just for your you know confirmation that you correctly um, calculated it your n will actually be one whole one by two years i really do hope that you get it right in the next session we'll be taking up questions and learning how to calculate rate person per annum thank you